Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a video to walk you through how to use bearing memory with your Casio ProTrek PAG240 module 3246 watch. Uh, so I've done a video in the past where I show you the basics of how to use the compass, basically just to see what direction you're heading and to identify uh, where north is if you're out hiking or something like that. But one of the features that this watch gives you is what's called bearing memory. And what that does is that basically saves a direction that you're currently traveling so that if you get off course, you can go back to that bearing location. And I'm going to show you that right now. So uh, first thing we're going to do is, as I mentioned in the prior video, anytime you're wanting to use the compass, you're going to want to have the watch laying flat uh, or horizontally in the same direction as the horizon. You don't want to be taking a compass reading with the watch facing you. Uh, you want it to be the same direction as the horizon. Best way is probably to take it off and lay it flat, or if it's on your wrist, make sure you've got it laying uh, horizontally flat. So uh, you'll press and hold the compass button. And as I mentioned before, the 12 o'clock marker is gonna show the direction that you're heading. I'm currently where my 12 o'clock is facing. I'm heading east, 82 degrees. These triple lines over here are showing me where north is. That's why I've got my bezel located on north. The screen unfortunately times out. Supposedly it times out after 20 seconds. On mine, it seems to be quicker than 20 seconds, but according to the instruction manual, you've got about 20 seconds. Not a big deal if it times out on you. All you're going to do is press and hold the compass button again. This time, though, what we're going to do is we're going to actually save our bearing. So I'm going to save the direction that I'm currently facing so I can navigate back to that or at least see it if I'm using my compass again. So we're going to press and hold the compass button. We should see the exact same thing as before. Now I'm facing a little east-northeast, 78 degrees. I'm going to press and hold the adjust button and what that'll do is save my degrees, which was 77. Now I'm a little off. And you'll notice that aside from the north indicator, there's also another line up here. That's showing my bearing. That's showing the direction that I saved so that I can navigate back to it. And you'll notice as I turn, my bearing adjust and the north indicator adjust. So let me go back into this. And what that does for me is as I'm hiking around, I can see where north is as well as what direction I was going that I'd previously saved if I want to go back that direction. That's what bearing does for you. If you go in here and you want to clear out the bearing, all you're going to do is press and hold the adjust button again while you're in the compass mode and it'll clear it out. So now you'll see I've just got the north indicator and then the three other lines which really don't do anything aside from uh, signify your east, west, and south. So I hope that makes sense. Um, again, if you don't want to use bearing, that makes perfect sense, but it's kind of a good thing in, in the event that you want to know where north is and you're traveling a certain direction and you want to make sure you save that location so you can track back to the same spot. That's where bearing comes in uh, as a beneficial feature. Once you're done, as always, you just press the mode button to go back.